Welcome to Paimol Biomolecules. In this video, we are going to see about how to install Veena and do the virtual screening for multiple ligands. Okay. Step one is how to install Veena. Okay. Go to the Google and search for Autodoc Veena GitHub and open this GitHub page. Or you can go to this direct link. Okay. CCSP scripts slash Autodoc Veena. Okay. And scroll down and click on the latest releases. Okay. And you can see when you scroll down. In the asset section there will be many versions and click on this windows exe file okay veena 1.2.7 veena exe and go to the downloads folder and move this file okay press ctrl x or cut okay and then go to your c drive or any other drive and make a new folder and name it okay, veena okay and name it as veena and open this folder and paste the file you can see the file is pasted now you can rename this ok rename to veena.exe ok now when you open the command prompt and type veena ok v i n a ok so veena is not recognized as internal or external command okay so we have to add this path to the environment variables so copy this path that is c slash veena okay copy this path and search for environment variables and click on this click on this and go to path edit and click on new and paste here okay Now click on OK, OK and OK. Now the new environment variables is created. So click OK. Now open the command prompt and now check. OK. Now click. Now check for Veena. Now you can see the Veena is successfully installed. As you can see this help message. The version is 1.2.7. Now the Veena is successfully installed. Now you can do virtual screening using this Veena. Okay. The input files are receptors, ligand, and etc. Some other version. And you can see here is the and you can see in this help there will be many arguments and commands. Okay. So in this way you can install Veena easily. Okay. I have already posted a video about how to install MGL tools and open Babel in my channel. Okay. You can check out that. I will provide the link in the description. Okay. That's all. Now we have successfully installed the Veena. The step 2 is how to minimize the ligands. Okay. In this folder I have 10 ligands. Okay. Now I am going to open this ligand. You can see this ligand. This ligand is not energy minimized. Okay. The hydrogens are already added. Okay. I have already done the energy minimization of the ligands. This is the energy minimized ligand. Okay you can see this most of the bonds are flat okay and you can see the hydrogens they are energy minimized hydrogens and all the atoms okay now i am going to close this and i am going to show you how to minimize the ligands easily using this batch file this is the batch file that i have created okay here you have to change input folder and the output folder. The input folder is ligands and the output folder is minimized ligands. If the output folder is not available, it will be created. Now I am going to delete this folder. Okay. The ligands are in the mol2 format. Okay. Now double click this energy minimize batch file 
now you can see we have to change the input and output folders i have already done that okay and make sure there are no spaces in the file and the folder names in the all levels okay or else the script may not work okay now press enter you can see the energy is you can see the minimized ligands this folder is created so that's all we have energy minimized the ligands for virtual screening for this to work you have to install open babel whether open babel is installed or not you can check it by giving this command o babel okay the version is 3.1.1 that i have installed okay if you don't have open babel installed this will not work okay now step 3 how to prepare the ligands okay in this batch file this is the batch file to prepare the ligands okay here you have to change the ligand folder i am going to use it as minimized ligands okay and the output folder is ligands pdb qt okay this folder will be created and the prepared ligands will be placed in that folder in your autodoc installation path there will be python.exe okay give that python.exe and give the location of prepare ligand4.py okay and give these parameters and save it as batch file now double click to run this batch file okay so as usual you have to change the ligand folder and output folders and make sure there are no spaces in the file and the folder names now you can see the ligand preparation will be started the ligand is prepared and saved as pdb qt format mol2 file will be converted to pdb qt format and the ligand preparation is completed okay you can see these are the 10 files now the ligand preparation is complete okay next step 4 is virtual screening for virtual screening we have you have to place the protein pdb qt and the config dot config dot txt file okay and this is the config dot txt file here you have to specify receptor center size exhaustiveness modes and energy range these are not the exact values i have used this values for demo purpose and you have to use as your values so you have to use your exact values okay so i have used the protein.pdbqt so i am going to give the same name in the config file okay now this is the virtual screening batch file here you have to change the config file ligand folder output folder etc okay so this is the screening output this is the output folder this folder will be created and you can see this is the command v now okay if the environment variables is not set you have to specify the full path to the v now the dot exe file okay and this is the config file and this is the output folder okay the log file will be saved in this log.txt file okay so that's all now we have to double click the virtual screening batch file okay so you can see you have to change the config ligand folder and output folders and you have to make sure there are no space in the file and the folder names in all levels so you can see the virtual screening is started and the first ligand is ligand 10 okay so now the ligand 10 is completed okay now open the log.txt file you can see the output that is affinity okay affinity rmst list bound and unbound so these are the parameters that we have specified grid center grid size grid space exhaustiveness okay here you will have your result 
so this is the protein dot pdb qt okay so the outer dot pdb qt will be your protein ligand complex okay now you can see this is still uncomplete okay now open this again so now it is completed okay and you can see the score you can see it is uh, still doing its job so you can see a warning at a low exhaustiveness it may be impossible to utilize all cpus okay the outer.pdbqt file will contain the like protein ligand complex you can use pymol you can use the pymol to view the interactions okay all the poses will be saved in the out.pdbqt file so now the all dockings are completed okay you can see the log file and out file so that's all thank you for watching